Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Portland Social Distance Ensemble. Each week, we will be presenting live stream performances every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, featuring talented musicians who are eager to get back to the work, the business of making music. So tonight, it's my great pleasure to introduce the members of the Pixis String Quartet, our good friends all, uh, Greg Ewer playing violin from his basement in Southwest Portland, Charles Noble playing viola from his house in Southeast Portland, Marilyn de Oliveira playing cello by our dear friend, the brilliant Danny Rosenberg, who is listening out there, who gave us this incredible gift after all. So thanks, Danny. Love you. Uh, we'd like to start off with a piece that is dear to our hearts, the third movement of Philip Glass's uh, Fifth String Quartet. A couple of years ago, we had the great pleasure and honor to work on this wonderful piece with uh, Philip himself, and so um, we thought it would be a really appropriate way to begin our program tonight. So it's our pleasure to perform for you. Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, everybody. So um, that glass is a sure a cool piece, and the end of it is very, very exciting. <laughs> um, we're rolling with the punches here because we, you know, have no choice. It's the um, it's dealing with uh, the vagaries of of uh, technology and the internet and all that stuff. And um, thanks for being patient with us. We're going to move on to the next piece, and it's an appropriate selection. It's a very timely piece that we're going to play for you. It's God Music by George Crum, which is a very, very um, uh, appropriate piece at this moment as we deal with um, with, uh, with technical issues. We're, we're invoking the Almighty to um, at this point in our uh, performance. Um, and uh, just wanted to, to demonstrate a little bit in God Music. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the piece, it's a uh, central movement of Black Angels, famous string quartet by George Crumb. Um, the piece, uh, the, the entire piece is about the horrors. It's an evocation of the Vietnam War. Um, and it's a spectacular piece um, of music. God music um, is really one of the real moments of grace and otherwise very... Um, uh, angry and uh, intense piece um, of music. Um, it's so beautiful and um, is a great opportunity for our cellist, Marilyn, to play this gorgeous music that George has written. It's also notable for the fact that the other players, Greg, Charles, and I, don't play our instruments. We play uh, tuned glasses. I'll turn my computer over here. You can see I have them set up, and Greg and Charles do as well. And they are bowed and tuned. Um, as you add water to a glass, the pitch goes down. And so I had a real fun time a few years ago going into Goodwill and testing all the glasses to make sure they have this right starting pitch and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, put water in them and you can tune them very, very precisely. And it sounds like this. And when all three of us are playing our glasses and Marilyn is playing the gorgeous solo above it, it's quite a striking uh, moment. Um, it's not the only thing in the piece where glass or where gr cr crumb is so interesting. When you play, play a piece on a program by Philip Glass and then you play glasses in a piece by George Crumb, it's really easy to confuse all those words. Um, in Black Angels, uh, Crumb uses a lot of different devices like guitar picks and um, um, gongs and having us play the instruments in incredible ways and getting sound colors out of the instruments un unlike anything you've ever heard before. So I'd encourage you to go listen to a recording of this fabulous piece, Black Angels by George Crumb. And we're going to play now God Music, which features Marilyn on cello.
incredible piece, amazing piece, all the way through from start to finish. But um, uh, just a real treat uh, for you to play that uh, spectacular, uh, spectacular music. Okay, so um, we have one more piece to play for you tonight um, before we start drinking heavily. <laughs> just kidding. Not. <laughs> um, we have one more piece. It's the Pete Dance. It's a Danish folk song. It was arranged by the Danish String Quartet. And um, the Danish String Quartet is an amazing ensemble, wonderful string quartet. They, they play, they just recently did a, a series, um, the whole Beethoven cycle, all the Beethoven quartets in New York City recently, and to great acclaim. Wonderful, wonderful musicians, and they arranged a set of Danish folk music. Um, Pete Dance is one of the pieces from that set. We did it on a concert all the way back in March. It seems so long ago. Um, March 6th was a program that Greg curated, and uh, we gave the title Smorgasbord. It featured it was a wonderful integration of um, indigenous instruments and nickel harpa and hard anger fiddle and um, Western music. Uh, we have a SoundCloud playlist on our website of that performance, and uh, hope that you guys can check it out. It's really, really great. Um, so as you can tell, those of you that have hung in with us all night, this is an experiment. Um, need to be upfront about that. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. We're experimenting. It's uh, new technology, and um, it's a lot of fun, and it can be very, very exasperating, and that's just how technology is. As acoustic musicians, we have an uneasy embrace with technology, and we're doing our best to get our hands around it. Um, and we basically built this ourselves. It's a real innovative platform that allows us to socially distance, come together and play. And so we're asking for donations. Um, and there are donation buttons on the Facebook uh, page, and it's also streaming in YouTube and also on our website, 45thparallelpdx.org. Um, so any help, um, support our um, art would be great in the way that we're doing it. Um, we plan on doing more of these uh, every Friday at 6, six o'clock. Um, next week we're going to be featuring James Shields, Arwen Myers, and Maria Garcia with some wonderful music for clarinet, piano, and soprano, including the famous uh, piece by Schubert uh, Shepherd on the Rock. And they will be performing from their individual homes um, in a wonderful performance of that piece. And there are subsequent um, performances lined up in the weeks to come. So hope that you join us for all of that. Um, so that's about it. I think we need to get on with Pete Dance. And thank you all for your patience as we have worked our way through this evening. Um, my thanks to my colleagues, to Marilyn, to Charles and Greg, and of course, to Danny Rosenberg, who I think just broke his headphones, throwing them against the wall because <laughs> Chrome browser was uh, letting us down there. But um, okay, again, yeah. thanks everybody for your patience as we work through everything to make this happen. We think that it's worth it, worth the effort for sure to get it right. And we hope that you enjoyed our performances. So thanks everybody. And this is Pete Dance, an arrangement of Danish traditional folk song.
All right, all right. Didn't get any notice from Danny that it didn't go well, so hope that that streamed well. What an awesome piece. These are all wonderful pieces that are near and dear to our hearts. Um, hope that they transmitted, they got through to you, and um, thank you so much again for uh, bearing with us as we, uh, you know, get our arms around this new technology. And um, uh, so at this point, I need to 